This video is presented by NewMetalWorker.com. Most of us in the small shops can't afford a set of oxyacetylene tanks. And we really don't have a need for something that big or have a good place to put them. But we still need to generate heat for soldering things, loosening stuck fasteners, or bending steel. I had the same limitations in my shop, so that's why I used a burns matic TS-4000 trigger start torch. burns matic had lots of opportunities to cheapen these tools up, but they decided to use high quality materials to make sure that these work today and just as well many years down the road. To use this torch, we just turn the red dial to the on position and then pull that like a trigger, and that starts the gas flowing and ignites it. To lock the torch on, we just push this button on top, push the red button again to release it. In the old days, we had to use these scratch and hopefully spark pieces of junk that were more infuriating than you were anything else. If you even know what these are, you're going to love this. When you push that red button, it makes a spark up here at the nozzle, and that's what ignites the fuel, and it does it almost every time you push that red button. I'll admit that on a couple of very rare occasions, I have had to push that red button a hole twice to get it to light. But you won't hear any complaints out of me. A lot of people buy these torches for soldering plumbing, and they're very good at doing that. But these torches are capable of far more. These torches are great at heating up stuck fasteners to help break them loose. But one of the big things I use my torch for is heating up steel so I can bend it where I want without straining myself or breaking the steel. This is a small piece of 3 16 inch thick steel. I point out the small part because as you can see it's clamped to a steel table which is going to sink off quite a bit of heat. But if you watch the steel around where the flame is, you'll see it start to turn red. We're leaving this part of the video uncut and in real time so you can see how long it takes to get that kind of heat into a piece of steel. And now you can already see that the steel is turning red. That was about 40 seconds to get that spot good and red. And now by moving that flame back and forth across the steel, I can extend that red all the way across to get a nice place to bend it. Heating the steel up makes it very easy to get a good clean bend exactly where you want it. Very often we get absolutely no cracking and we don't have to hammer it into place. If you need to use heat in your shop, you need to stop and take a hard look at the burns matic TS-4000 Trigger Start Torch. This is a well-made, versatile, dependable tool that comes at a very good price.